What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are bringing you guys some more Series 13 content, but this time using a Power Swap Magirna team that also features Choice Specs Kyogre alongside a Choice Scar Fictini. You guys are in a deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as content creator by the way like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button and while you're down there ring those notification bells so you know when all of my videos go live but with that out the way let's get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner with the only the one and only victini victini is one of those pokemon that i find very fun to use in series 13 so every time i'm using it i always have a good time it's got victory star as its ability and rocking a choice scarf as its item like i already mentioned then we got v create final gambit trick and searing shot for its four moves Second Pokemon is going to be Magirna over here. Magirna has that Soul Heart ability, which is super, super strong. Then it's got the Focus Ash as its item. It's got Flare Cannon, Power Swap to swap its attack and special attack with an ally Pokemon, or even an opposing Pokemon if we want to roll it out that way. And then we got Trick Room and Protect for its last two moves. Middle left is going to be Kyogre over here. Choice Specs Kyogre. If you guys ever use Choice Specs Kyogre, you guys know this thing can do a crazy amount of damage. It's got Drizzle, and then its moveset is going to be Water Spout, Thunder, Blizzard, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is going to be our Trick Room guy. It is going to be Calyrex over here. It's got the ability, alongside with the Life Orb as item to make it do as much damage possible. It's got Glacial Lance, High Horsepower, Trick Room, and Protect, a moveset that you can't go wrong with for any Calyrex. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Zacian over here, normal Interpret Sword and Rusted Sword as its item and ability. Its moveset is fairly normal, but this time it is a quick attack Zacian. So it has Iron Head, it's got Sacred Sword, it has a quick attack for first turn priority, which comes up clutch, and then it has Protect for its final move. Final Pokemon is going to be Choice Band Lander. So we have all the Choice items. We have the Choice Scarf, we have the Choice Specs, and we have the Choice Band. Really cool, cannot wait to showcase them all. But uh, we got Intimidate, like I said, the Choice Band as the Landers' his item. Then it's rocking Self Destruct, EQ, Rock Slide, and Superpower. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Series 13 Choice team. First battle coming at you guys. We are going up against a pretty cool team right here. He's got Wimscott, he's got Rillaboom, and then he's rocking out with Kyogre, Thunderous. Zacian and Shadow Rider Calyrex. The real boom makes me not want to bring Kyogre, but I feel like a nice lead for this team is going to be Magirna and Victini, and we can potentially final gambit a Pokemon, take him out, and then pop a trick room with the Focus Ash, and then bring Calyrex in the back end, right? That does definitely sound really, really well for us. So I think I am going to go with that. I really do think I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to lead them too. I'm going to bring Calyrex in the back end. And then last but not least, do I end up bringing the Kyogre, or do I just play it safe with Zacian? Because Kyogre is rather slow on this team. I think he's like 85 speed right i believe you're like 85 yeah he's 85 on the nose and that's really slow but the problem would be the real boom coming in here and doing work on him it's my only problem with it that is my only problem what is this thing's speed I mean, we do have quick attack on this thing speed's 185 i mean it's okay hmm could be good it could be good i don't know what i want to do here but again if we could take out real boom that's just really good for us that would just be really good for us so uh I think I might go Kyogre. I think I'm gonna go Kyogre. Actually, no, I made a rule with myself. Whenever there's Rillaboom on the other team, just don't even bring Kyogre, because chances are they're bringing the Rillaboom and they're just gonna take you out with one Grassy Glide. So hopefully he's he's bringing the Rillaboom, or he's not, or you know, hopefully he is bringing the Rillaboom because I'm not bringing the Kyogre. But every time I usually bring Kyogre up against Rillaboom, it just, it, it never ends well. They just hop into battle, Grassy Glide, see you later. You're like, come on, man, <laughs> give me a turn. Just give me a turn. But let's see who he ends up leading. He's gonna end up leading Calyrex and Kyogre. Okay, uh I could final gambit one of them. The Kyogre would be better. He wants to go for a double heading move, I'm fine with that. Because Victini should be faster, and I think Victini should have more health if this thing's fully invested in HP. Don't mind it. I think he might I don't think he's gonna die max. I really don't think he's gonna die max. What's your speed at or what's your health at Victini? 207. Yeah, let's just go for the Trick Room here. And then just Final Gambit and try to get rid of this guy here. Hopefully he doesn't Dynamax it. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Kind of hurts the soul. Kind of hurts the soul. I need my uh, Megurin to survive here. He ends up Dynamaxing this little Pokemon. That hurts. 
That definitely hurts. I did not think he was going to die, Max. I really just think he was going to just start throwing double hitting moves and kind of rolling out from there. But we shall see. Final game becomes Surrear. We do about half of them. Wow, we would have KO'd him. That would have been beautiful. And now we're dead. Now we lost. Right? We lost. Game, set, and match. Soul Heart coming out here, but he's going to double hit me here. Astrobrage. Yep. Hurts Soul. Hurts the Soul. We're able to eat, but we're not eating this guy's here. No shot. No shot. Is there any way we can win this match? I'm trying to think. Is there any way we can win this match? Behemoth play might be able to take out Kyogre. Can Behemoth Blade take out Kyogre? I'm trying to think of ways I can win this match right here, because that's just a... That just sucks right there. That really does suck right there. <laughs> that hurts, man. <laughs> I hate this game. Um, hmm. Is there a way we can win this match? I'm trying to think, because I could definitely Dynamax Calyrex here. And he can eat up an Astro Bronze. But if Zaskin can take out that Kyogre, that could be a huge turn for us. Because I know that this can bring this thing down to Sash and then take it out with Buffets. And then Behemoth Blade. Hmm, we need Behemoth Blade to take out this Kyogre. But I don't know if it can. But we're going to go for it. We're definitely going for it. We're not playing around. We're not playing around. So we're going to do this. He might even max guard here. But this play is fine. This play is definitely fine. So we're going to go for Dynamax. This is the last ditch effort here. Him Dynamax and screwed up everything. Smart play by him, but... Definitely screwed up everything. Because if he didn't Dynamax, that Kyogre dies the final game. But Astrobrage can take out my... Or my Victini would already be dead. But Astrobrage would uh, do some damage to my Magirna. We would survive and then we would kind of go from there. But he's going to end up going for an Astrobrage. Doing some damage. We need this Blade to take out. Let's go, Zass. Coming hot here. Coming hot here, kid. Let's go. This is why you're the best Pokemon. Take out this Kyogre here. Let's go. That's big time KO. That's big time KO here. I don't know how that, that move KOs because it's not very effective, but but it still does. <laughs> it still does. It's a big time KO for us. We're going to drop a Hailstorm here. This will take out the uh, the Calyrex, no problem. It should bring it down to Sash, right? And then this buff it should be able to finish it off. Yep. Beautiful. We'll pick up a KO, and we'll kind of go from there. So, I'm trying to think of how we can win this battle, because I'm trying to think of what Pokemon he could potentially have in the back end. He could have Rillaboom, and he could have Zacian. Zacian's probably a must, right? He probably 100% has Zassy. And I'm going to have to outplay him with protection, right? Tough game here. We have a real tough game. I think he does have Rillaboom and uh, Calyrex. Or not Calyrex, and Zassy. But you guys might be hearing my dog barking. It's kind of annoying me. Got to go give it some pets later. <laughs> he ends up throwing out Zassy. And is this going to be uh, Rillaboom? No, it's going to be Thunderous. The Thunderous is going to fly out here. Um... Do I just guard? Do I just guard and go into the Behemoth Blade? I think I do. I'm gonna hope that this Zassian goes after the Calyrex and kind of just go from there. It's kind of like our last ditch effort here. I'm gonna end up guarding here. Come on, Zassian. Go into the Calyrex, please. We actually outspeed and we go first. That's actually a big time turn. I like that turn. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Can we get a crit and just take it out, please? Can a quick attack KO that? I don't even know if it can. Actually, it should be able to. He goes for the blade, and he does go into the Calyrex. So, big time blocks from us. And is he doubling down? Can we eat this wild charge? We might be able to. We don't. That hurts, man. That hurts. Because uh, now we have to land a double max guard, right? Is that correct? Because if we had one more turn, if we had one more turn, we would have been able to uh, just quick attack and finish that thing off. Well, that hurts. I think we have to go for the... No, double guard wouldn't even do anything. We would need to land triple protect, right? <laughs> we would need to land triple protect for us to win. Because Behemoth Boy lands 100% of the time. And we're dead to it 1,000% of the time. So we are just going to have to go for a triple protect, right? And have Buffett's KO and then us roll out from there. It's our only hope. So we're going to go for double max guard here. We land it. Hold up. RNG. We're going for it. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. Not playing around. Because so, I think we might be able to eat up a wild charge. I don't know because this thing is orbed. But we need to be able to protect one more time. <laughs> this game, dude. Let's do it. Let's do it. My first ever triple protect landing right here. On Pokey Gods. Need you here. Need you here. Land it. Land it. 
Yeah, no shot. No shot. No shot. Behemoth Blade's gonna fly through. That is gonna be GG for battle number one. But yo, we made it this close. We legit made it this close. We ended up Dynamaxing that Calyrex. Rolling out strong with that Zacian. And if that Zacian just survived the wild charge, woo! We could just quick attack that other Zacian, then finish off that battle and win this battle. Second battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves our first win. That last battle, we played pretty well, but our lead was just awful. We ended up getting off to a horrible start, and then our opponent just took control and ended up winning that battle. But uh, we're hopping into the second one. This guy's got a really cool team. He's got a Swift Swim Bear Scooter team with Kyogre, Groudon, and Charizard, and then Incineroar and Ferrothorn. So how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like popping H Frickrim could be really, really good for us, right? Magir and Victini with Final Gambit could rock out. So I might just go in with them too and kind of get rolling. So I do like that. So I'm going to go in with them too. Try to get this combo rolling this time and then bring in the uh, the Calyrex and the Kyogre in the back end. Especially if we are going to be able to pop the Trick Room. So I do like that. I really do like that. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. Like I said, battle number one, it, it, it looked pretty good at the end. We had, a, we had a slight chance of winning that one. But the lead was just... He countered it too bad, so we were just in a, in a tough spot that whole game. But we gotta win this match. We gotta win this match here and grab ourselves our first win for today's game. Let's see who he ends up leading. Who are you going to lead, Kunzer? Dun dun dun. Ends up leading. Kyogre and Bear Scooter. So Bear Scooter could definitely die next year. And the thing is, do I final gambit into the Kyogre slot? I feel like I do. I think the Bear Scooter is gonna be the one to die next. Correct? Makes a lot of sense, right? Could be orbed. Bear Scooter. So, you know what? I am just going to go into a Trick Room here. I'm going to pop it. And I'm just going to Final Gambit straight into this Kyogre. Because if the Kyogre doesn't Dynamax, we take it out and we pop a nice little Trick Room. And I think that the Bear Scooter would be more of the Pokemon in the Trick Room, right? It's the Swift Swim guy. It's probably holding the Life Orb. I feel like it Dynamaxes as this thing goes for like Water Spouts or something, right? Makes a lot of sense. It definitely does make a lot of sense. But never know whenever i play pokemon i feel like the opposite of what i need to happen always happens <laughs> it's just it's just a mess every single time let's see what goes on we know he's gonna die next we just gotta hope it's the bear scooter here please be the bear scooter please pokey guys help me out here did you need to make the right call here did i make the right read here it is the bear scooter so great call from us here uh this final game it should be able to just take out this kyogre I believe we should have more HP than that Kyogre, 100%, right? We're fully invested in HP, so I really do like that. And he's going to end up going for a Geyser, and... Ah! Okay, he outspeeds my... That's fine. My Garen's going to sash up. He outspeeds that, but Final Gambit should go before this uh, Kyogre, and we should just be able to take it out, right? Is that correct? It is a correct statement. So we end up popping this thing, that should just take it out, right? Cool. So this combo works out pretty well. I was kind of scared because I wasn't expecting the Bear Scooter to outspeed my uh, Victini, but it did. So we get rid of the Kyogre, we get a Soul Heart boost, which is huge. And now we get to roll out with this Trick Room, which is amazing. Which is amazing. So we have Trick Room ready to roll here. Um, <clears throat> I am plus one with my Megurna. I am going to roll out with my Calyrex at this point because you know Calyrex is just a beast. I'm going to get as much power as I can out of my uh, Megurna with Flare Cannons and all that. And then once that goes out, I'll bring out my slow Kyogre to kind of clean up some of this mess. But not a bad turn from us. He's going to bring out Incineroar. Calyx going to come out here. But I'm kind of okay with that. A little bit. Not really. Kind of. I don't know. But I guess I guess we'll go from there. I guess we shall go from here. So I could change up weather. I could definitely change up weather. Intimidate kind of hurts me. I don't like that one. It'd be like that sometimes. Maybe I should have brought the Kyogre. Oh, if I would have brought the Kyogre, it would have been nice. But from here, I'm just going to floor cannon, right? Do I floor cannon into? I feel like I have to floor cannon. I mean, he might just fake me out, so you know what? I'm just gonna protect. I'm not gonna allow him to fake me out. I'm just gonna Dynamax him. So, do I just quake into this thing? Do I quake into Bear Scooter? The Bear Scooter could be a pain. And I'm not really too worried about the Incineroar with my, uh. With my Kyogre in the back end. So, I'm just gonna quake into this thing. Just do as much damage as I can. I'm not gonna lie, Bear Scooter is still very scary. It's still one scary Pokemon. And I wonder if a Floor Cannon can't take out the Barrow Scooter next turn. Because I would love to just drop a Quake into, into Incineroar. But we'll see. We'll see how this one plays out here. But yeah, I think he just fakes me out, right? And looks for the KO. That would be a simple, smart play. Let's see. It's up guarding. Wow. Is it going for guard? Are you going to fake out too? 
Let's go for, for the fake out. So we could have just freely quaked. A smart turn from him. Plans for quaking. These turns get neutralized. Trickroom is kind of starting to get wasted. And then from here, uh, we could change up weather. Do I change up the weather? Definitely want a floor cannon. I definitely want a floor cannon. And I really want to change up weather right now. But at the same time, I kind of just want to quake here. Which I am going to do. Do I do it? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to pop this Quake into this uh, Incineroar. And he might actually end up swapping Incineroar. He might end up swapping Incineroar, which would be a kind of a smart play. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. My Kai Ogre actually might be slower than this Incineroar, to be honest with you guys. 85 speed is really slow. We have plenty of turns left in Trick Room. Plenty of turns left in Trick Room. You're going to end up withdrawing the Incineroar. Go into somebody who can take a Quake. Please don't be... Who you got? Ah, you know, oh, Ferrothorn, that kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. Floor can going to come through here. The way crazy. Yo, Magirna. What a turn. I'll take that all day. <laughs> what a turn, Magirna. <laughs> Magirna just ripping. Just ripping. I love it. I love it. Magirna ripping. Gets so hard boosted, which is nice. I wish I kind of did change his weather. And now he's forced to bring back out Incineroar. So he's forced to bring back out Incineroar. I feel like at this point... I feel like at this point, I kind of need my Magirna to go down. Like, if Magirna goes down, that's totally fine. I don't mind it. And if he wants to fake me out, he can fake me out. But I wonder what, uh... I don't, I don't know if I should go straight after Sparathorn. I might do it. Sparathorn is going to be annoying. Again, I'm not worried about the instant war too much with Kyogre in the back end. Sparathorn could, 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 could be an annoying kind of customer, right? So maybe he thinks I go for that, uh... Maybe he thinks I go for the what's it called again. The protect. Put a fake out. My special attack is still plus one, which is incredible. I'm just gonna go for hit protect and just go from there. But I'm just gonna go for a floor cannon. I'm just gonna floor cannon and I'm just gonna drop a hailstorm. Yeah, I'm just gonna hailstorm into this thing. See how someone comes out here. He's gonna end up leech seating me. How dare you. How dare you leech see me? Four cannons can come out here. And did we miss it? We missed a four cannon. Are you kidding me? I think he thinks I was protecting. Hailstorm's coming out here. We're going to send some buffets so leech seeds kind of get neglected. That's not bad damage. There's not bad damage. I kind of want to swap the Calyrex at this point. It's going to go into here. I mean, I died to buffets. And of course, my four cannon misses. Any parting shots? Here we go. Yeah, I'm definitely swap. Actually, I can't swap anymore. Ah. I cannot swap anymore. I cannot swap anymore. What do I want to do here, though? Because the rain's going to come out here. Do I just want to choice it to a water spout? Do I want to choice into this water spout? I kind of do a little bit. I mean, he's going to protect this turn. It would be my best bet to choice into. Because we could get, uh... We could get done dirty by this, uh... By this Ferrothorn. I'm not even gonna lie. This Ferrothorn could do me so dirty. We know Water Spout just finishes off the. The what's it called? The Incineroar. And we know he's probably gonna protect. So what could I do here? I mean, Trick Room. Once Trick Room ends, it's gonna do his. Hmm. Do I wanna do here? Water Spout's not bad, but Thunder. Grants and Paralyzes. Blizzards? Eh. I got a Water Spout here. I got a water spout that, and I just got to go into... I guess I'll just go into a Glacial Lance. That'll be my play. Let's see what he does. Ends up going for a Power Whip. That kind of hurts. Kind of hurts. How much damage are you doing? I don't think you do a lot of damage with the water spout anymore. Oh, this is scary, guys. It's definitely scary. This is definitely scary. I don't like this game one bit. <laughs> we go into Glacial Lance. Eh. This and damage. And we definitely need a... He goes first, and he's gonna party shot into me again. We're gonna do no damage. Trick room's doing us dirty. Water spout coming out. Can we get some crits? I wish we had Origin Pulse. I really do. Wow, if we had Origin Pulse, that's GG. But Trick room is gone now. Not too bad. Trick room is gone now. I feel like we might have a shot here. I think like we might have a shot. I don't know. He's getting back way too much HP. 
Way too much HP. We're gonna go for the Water Spout. We're gonna go for the Glacial Lance. It's our play all day. Battle's coming way too close. Way too close. Way too close to comfort. I think Ferrothorn's gonna clutch it up. Kind of annoying. Let's see how this one plays out here. Water Spout's gonna fly. It's gonna KO the uh, Incineroar. It does. Cool. And can we get a crit with this, please, Calyrex? Calyrex, Joe. Help us out. Help us out. Or maybe this Ferrothorn can miss a Power Whip or something because I missed a Floor Cannon earlier. So we need some RNG back on our side. <laughs> Glacial Land's coming in hot. Give us something to work with here. Bang. Was that a crit? That might have been a crit. That wasn't a crit. Guess we just got a high roll. Yo, I'll take that all day. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and one for today's video. Let's hop into a third. Look for that winning record. That last battle definitely had me shaking a little bit. The Ferrothorn, I thought, was going to clutch it up. But, yo, we come out, out on top. We grab ourselves our first win for today's video. And now we're going up against an odd team right here. He's got Pikachu, Butterfree, Talonflame. Then he's rocking Deancey, Volcanion, and Garatina. Um, He could pop a Tailwind, which can really benefit him. And I kind of think he's going to do that. So I might just want to go back here and pop a Trick Room. But um, I could also self-destruct. Could also protect and self-destruct, which would be an awesome turn. I'm kind of leaning towards doing <laughs> I don't know why, but probably shouldn't do that. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go Mad Gear in here in case we want to pop a Trick Room. I could go Victini again. That's not too bad. Or I could lead a Pokemon like Calyrex and just protect out. We have options here. Or I could just go Kyogre. Do I want to go Kyogre though? No, I really don't want to go Kyogre. I could just protect this thing. Kind of roll off from there. Hmm. Options, options, options. I mean, Victini would be our best bet, right? Victini's a monster. Victini is a monster. Or I could just say, like, go in with fast guys here. Early on here, one, two. And then bring Magirna in the back end to pop a trick room, maybe with Kyogre or even Calyrex. But Kyogre, mm, Kyogre could be a little tough because he does have, uh, I'm going to go with Calyrex. But Kyogre could be tough because he does have Volcanium with one absorb. And he has Pikachu. Pikachu's kind of annoying. Really fast, really hits like a truck, but... We're trying something different. I didn't want to go in with the same combo. I think I feel like the Victini and Mac Gear in a combo probably could have just won us that game very easily. Or this game very easily. But I want to bring you guys something a little bit different. I want to bring you guys just something like tap it different. But let's see who he ends up leading. Talonflame? Hopefully not. No, he does not. He goes Butterfree alongside with Peak Peak. Um, I have a lot of speed here. But he probably does too. He probably does too. Intimidate's gonna come out here. Pikachu's probably gonna die next, right? I could protect EQ. I could uh, Rock Slizzle here. Behemoth Blade. I have a lot of different options. Here. Um, I might just Blade the Pikachu. Just in case he wants Dynamax, just Blade the Pikachu. And then, wait, should we still Rock Slide? I could self destruct. I'm just gonna choice to a Rock Slider. I think that's just my best bet. Let's see what he ends up doing. He ends up Dynamax in the Pikachu. Now, the thing about Butterfree here is, is it faster than my Zassian? Butterfree is a fast little butterfly, but is it faster than the OP dog? I don't really know the speeds, but big old Peak's going to do his line. Peak. <laughs> That's his line right there. And again, speed is a factor here. He's going to actually out... Oh, no, he's just going to reach power shot. Oh, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. Demon's Blade's going to fly through here. Brings him down to probably focus ash, right? Correct. I wish I would have went for an EQ. Protect EQ would have been awesome. But this thing gets brought to a focus ash if Rock Slide can land on both of them. That could be huge. And I think it just goes for the G Max Bull Crash, right? Rock Slide goes first, though. That's beautiful. You know, half health on Pikachu. Half. Big time turn. That's a big time turn. So he is going to be able to get off what he wants to do. He's going to go for the Bull Crash. He's going to get the double paralyzed, which is kind of annoying. But he does not take out Zacian. You know what? That's kind of annoying that. My land is just gonna get paralyzed here. I'm a ground Pokemon. I shouldn't be able to get paralyzed. That should be illegal. That should not be allowed. This guy is hacking, no. <laughs> but uh, let's see what he ends up bringing out. He's gonna bring out Volcanion, and Volcanion's rather slow. I mean, uh, definitely wanna go into the blade here. Try to finish off that Pikachu. I mean, Rock Slide can do some nice damage over on the both of these guys. But I just kinda wanna try to get rid of this Pikachu and make sure it goes down. But he's going to end up going first. He's going to go for the Volt Crash. He is going to take out him. And I wonder if my boy can eat up this, uh, this water shot he's about to go for. Signature move. Steam Eruption is probably going for, right? Correct? Yes. Can you eat this up, please? Thank you. No, you are the worst Pokemon on planet Earth. I'm just playing with you. 
So he ends up taking us out. Uh, ain't too bad. Ain't too bad. I feel like I. Hmm. Paralyze does me dirty, man. Paralyze does me dirty, but I feel like I have to protect my Calyrex and pop a Trick Room. Or I could just stay in here and get off a strong move. But I feel like Trick Room would be better. Because he's paralyzing us and just, it's just awful all around. So do I guard the Calyrex or do I just protect? Hmm. I feel like I guard the Calyrex. I can maybe stop the... I can definitely, if I if I guard the Calyrex and he goes for a bolt crash in that slot, I can stop the Paralyzer. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pop a Trick Room at the same time. We're going to look to win this battle on the back end. But good old G-Max Pikachu. Doing some work. Such a strong Pokemon. Like I said, I definitely could have, that first combo could have been great. Because he was just Rage Powder. I could have just popped the Trick Room early on there. Everything would have been just fine. Everything would have been just fine. He's going to end up withdrawing. Okay, so we get off a free Trick And he's gonna go in town. I don't really mind town. Do not really mind town playing. But I, again, I really do think he goes for a G Max full crash into Calyrex slot. If he doesn't, <coughs> he's gonna get off the uh, double paralyze, and it's all good. We should still be able to get off the trick room. But again, since I said that, I know he's gonna go after Maginra, and he is gonna get the paralyze on me. And it's just gonna be a rough scene. I'm gonna end up guarding. See if I made the right call here. Go for a full crash into Calyrex. He does not. Bad call. Watch this. Watch. Ready? He's going to get the paralyzed, and it is going to paralyze. It's going to ruin everything. Watch how, watch how bad this game is. Watch how bad this game is. I'm going to freak out. Oh, my God. We didn't get paralyzed. <laughs> I, I could have sworn it was going to happen. He popped a nice, lovely trick room. Pikachu's low on uh, P. I could just start sending buffets left and right. I mean, we're on a slow side here. Man. I feel like this could just take you out. Then I could just floor cannon too. But again, Paralyze could do us dirty, but we are slowest on the field, which works well. So the late game slow Pokemon coming in clutch, but Pikachu just doesn't work. If I would have EQ turn one, that would have been beautiful. But I EQ turn one. I was thinking about it, but I was just like, then I hit my Assassin. It doesn't hit the Butterfree, blah, 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 blah. Could have been good. It could have been an amazing turn for us. We could have just dumped on a Pikachu in one shot, no problem. But let's see what this guy does. I, th I feel like this guy needs uh, RNG to be on his side for him to win the battle, right? I feel like he needs Paralyzed for him to win the battle. He's going to end up protecting Pikachu, which is totally fine. I'm cool with that. And what's going to happen here? He's going to end up going for a Brave Bird. Oh, he has Gale Wings. I totally forgot about Gale Wings. Can we eat that? We do eat that. Beautiful. Good work, Magirna. So we end up eating that. I forgot about Gale Wings here. Magirna's Paralyzed. Look at that RNG on this dude's side all day. We're going to get rid of the Talon Flame. That's fine. Okay. So I just need to turn for Magirna, because if I can Flare Cannon, we can just get rid of the Pikachu. I mean, Pikachu, I'm not really worried about, because he's only good in Dynamax. He really is only good in Dynamax. Buffett's going to fly through here. He could protect, but he can't protect the Pikachu anymore, unless he goes for double protect. But one more Buffett will take out my Magirna after this one. So we get the Chilling A boost. We get the Soul Heart boost. My Pokemon are ready to go. They're ready to go. But again, the only problem is, yo, RNG, I'm scared of it. I'm scared of it. It'll, it's, it's done me dirty thousands of times. And I wouldn't be surprised if it does me dirty again. Just always, always be doing me dirty. Always be doing me wrong. He goes in Volcanion. We know that's his final Pokemon. I can straight up quake that. Finish that off. And I'm just going to go into a Flare Cannon here. Let's see how this one plays. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Volcanion protects. That's fine. Pikachu, do not land. Don't protect. Makunas. Oh, second turn. Second turn! We don't like this game. Second turn in a row, I missed a turn for Magirna. We go into a quick. That's still going to do an amazing amount of damage. We can Glacial Lance and win this match. Still. I'll take this special defense boost all day. Magirna, dead. Hurt soul. What's Peak going for? What is Peak Peak going for? He's going for a Grass Knot. Which he didn't have to do. He goes for his lovely little Grass Knot. Grass Knot comes out here. Takes out my Magirna. And I feel like we're fine, right? You're slowest on the field. Pikachu might protect, kind of stall this battle a little bit. But again, I just got to pop this Glacial Lance and it's GG's. We go home with a winning record. Let's go, yo. No RNG. Just leave me alone here. Don't paralyze me. Let me win this game. <laughs> if it paralyzes me, I might lose, actually. 
It does not. That's huge. That definitely takes out the Pikachu. I think it should be able to take out the uh, Volcanion as well because we are at plus one. And we are life orb, which it does. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. A beautiful winning record for today's video. Thank God I really did think RNG was going to screw us over in that third or final battle. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one for today's video. We grabbed you guys yet another winning record on RNG. But this team was definitely a lot of fun to use. We had the Victini and Magirna combo that worked out really, really well. You just final Gambit, take out a Pokemon, use your Focus Ash, pop a Trick Room, and then you just get Calyrex in there to kind of roll out. But then you have other Pokemon like the Choice Specs, Kyogre, the Lanners. Zacian was eh, you know, we always use them all the time. But I feel like all around this team was a great team to use fun at the same time. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.